Hey guys, so I'm finally back with another tutorial. So I am going to recreate another look that I think is going to challenge me. So you guys might have seen my blue blacked out, well more like navied out, navy smoky eye that was like kind of challenging but I made it through. So I decided to do this look that I saved on, saved on my phone for a while. I saw it on Instagram. The page is called Makeup Melanin and it features a whole bunch of gorgeous makeup looks primarily on deeper skin tones but I think I can make it work on me. So it's kind of like a peachy monochromatic look with a cut crease which y'all know I don't be doing cut creases but I'm going to try and then it's also ombre peachy glossy nude lip so I'm going to give my version of it. It's not going to look exactly the same but I'm definitely inspired to try it. So I'm going to use um, a couple of different orange shadows so I have the Urban Decay Petite Naked Heat Palette and I'm going to use like these orange tones. I'm also going to use my Bye Bye Under Eye concealer because it's pretty full coverage and it'll work to kind of do the cut crease. So please do not judge. I don't do cut creases um, hardly ever, like rarely. So I'm going to give it a shot because I thought this look was really pretty. The darkest color right above my crease. I go above my crease because my lid space is kind of small and I have a lot of like space between my crease and my brow bone. Okay, so that's the first layer that I'm going to take more of an orange tone. And then I'm going to kind of like um, blend right above that just for kind of some dimension. So this part right here, I'm going to make that part darker now. The reason why I blend is and apply is because to me it just looks kind of like more professional this way. Like it doesn't look crazy, it just kind of looks blended as you apply it. This color is looking a teeny bit muddy on me, but it's okay because it's just for a little definition, it's not going to show up too much once I conceal. Okay, so I cleaned off this pencil brush and I'm going back in with that dark brown. And now I'm going to really get it inside this pocket so that way it's darker. Pretty good, so now let's go ahead and apply some concealer to the lids. When I first started doing cut creases, like legit, like eight, nine years ago on YouTube, I had a totally different method. I would actually draw the line in with a liner brush and flick it out and blend it out and then put the lid color on very precisely. I never use concealer, but I can see why it would be easier. So I'm gonna try it out today. I'm not gonna do the whole cut crease, just kinda like the front of it. So what I've noticed about cut crease videos that do this trick is that you have to have a good rounded kind of concealer brush and you use the brush to kind of make the shape of the rounded lid. That way, it's easier than just trying to draw it freehand so you're following the shape of the brush. Now I'm kind of just filling in the front. And I kind of do it with my eyes open and then I kind of stretch it back. And then I'm gonna pick a color to set that lid color with. I wanna do something kind of nude. I'm gonna mix this color with this orange just to kind of make it like right in between. And then I'm gonna set that concealer. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to create a smoky wing. So I, what I'm going to do is take some of my gel liner and a pencil and I'm going to create the wing first and then I'm going to smoke it out with black eyeshadow. And now I'm going to go in with like a pencil brush and I'm going to take some black eyeshadow and I'm going to smoke that out and make it kind of like a smoky outer V slash the wing. So as you can see it's starting to smoke out. What I'm going to do is take some of that dark brown I originally put into my crease and I'm going to kind of connect it into the black. And I'm just going to kind of hit this edge of the black to blend it out. And I'm going to use a little bit of that dark brown to transition between the black and the peach on my lid as well. It's getting a teeny bit muddy on the center, which I don't want. So maybe what I have to do is pick a warmer color. I'm going to put that orange shade right in here because I don't want it to turn muddy. And while here, I'm just going to go ahead and continue this 
liner onto the lower lash line and the waterline. It doesn't have to be perfect because we will smoke that out, but you want a nice kind of thick base. Actually, let me go ahead and do my brows first. And now we're going to conceal. And I'm going to set it with that same kind of light shade that I put on my lid. Okay, so I did this eye. Um, it looks pretty decent, I think, with the lashes. And when I finish everything, it'll kind of come together. It's not perfect, but I'm okay with it. So let's go ahead and do foundation. I am going to use Born This Way. Um, the shade Praline is a little bit dark for me now that I've been under quarantine for so long. So I'm going to mix it in with my concealer Warm Beige. And I'm going to apply it all over my face. So I'm going to actually take pictures after this because I need some new headshots for a project I'm working on. So I'm going to kind of go full fuller coverage than I normally would. Okay, so for my cream contour, I'm going to use Cryolon Ultra Foundation Trio. And I'm going to use this darker color right here. I've been using this trio a lot lately. Okay, now I'm going to set underneath my eyes and on my highlight, I'm using a mix of Laura Mercier Original Translucent Powder and the Laura Mercier Glow Powder. I like to just mix them together in my own little sifter jar. I like how the glow mix into the original kind of gives that little bit of a dewy or reflective effect. Even though I, I already, I love the Laura Mercier original by itself, I feel like this kind of gives it a little bit of a pick-me-up. And by putting the translucent powder kind of like all over the nose, it helps to like blend in that contour and make it a lot more subtle. For the rest of the face, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Na Stay Naked The Fix Powder in 50WY and set the entire thing with this huge brush to make it forever. I'm going to stick with like kind of the orangey theme on my cheeks. I'm going to use two blushes. One of them is called um, Liberté from NARS. That's going to be like my contouring blush. And this is a super old blush from MAC called Fun and Games, so like kind of more peachy. So first I'm going to put on the darker blush with a fluffy blush brush because I don't want to go too heavy handed with it. And then we're going to come in and just add a little bit more contour to the rest of the face using my IT Cosmetics powder palette. So first I'm going to go in and kind of bronze the outside of again with this color and then I'll go in that darker color to shape my cheekbones a little bit more. Just adding a little bit more color back into the skin. And then going on that darker color and just using the very tip of the brush to kind of just etch out that deepest pocket right here. And then I'm going to go in with a little teeny bit of this light brown, which is very cool tone, which I love using for my nose contour because I don't like when nose contours are too warm. I really think they really should mimic a shadow. Okay, so I'm gonna put on a pair of big lashes. These are actually lashes I wore to my wedding, which were pretty big. They're from Flutter Lashes. They look like that. So they are a little bit on the short side, but I have such a dramatic liner that it kind of helps block out the edge. All right, so now we're gonna smoke out that lower lash line. So I have to be careful because I don't want a lot of fallout. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of orange to the bomb just because I I like that. I like the way that looks a little bit better. I think it blends it a little bit better. This is going to be so hard to get off because this Inglot gel liner is all over the place and it's so waterproof. So let's move on to the lips. Okay, so I'm going to use a brown lip pencil from Urban Decay called Conspiracy. This is a really beautiful warm brown that's kind of good for my skin tone, but whatever brown lip liner you want to use for you, go ahead and grab it. And I'm going to overdraw my lips just a little bit just to keep with the dramatic look. And I'm going to go in with Afra Cosmetics Rio Liquid Lipstick, which is a really pretty orange. I will kind of go with all the orange on my face. I 
Okay, and then I'm going to go in with some lip gloss. I'm going to use this cheap lip gloss. It's like a nude color called See Through from Palladio. You can get it at um, Ulta, not Ulta, Sally Beauty. Okay, so that kind of melted everything together. And then I'm going to go back in one more time with a super shimmery lip gloss from Borghese or Borghese. It's just got a lot of glitter in it, so that's going to go in the center. I think I'm going to put on a little bit more blush. And then I'm going to add some highlights. So I've been using this Pure Cosmetics Sunkist Glow Palette. It's like a cream highlighter palette. So I'm just going to apply this with my fingers. I like how it's subtle. Even though this makeup is not subtle. Okay, I think I need a little bit more shimmer. Delicate Dew Glowy Gossamer Duo. This stuff is really intense. It helps you use like a stippling brush so that way if you don't want it to be super intense, it won't come off that way. Alright, so here is the final look. I curled my hair, threw on a top. I think everything kind of comes together when you do like your whole face and your hair and makeup and all that stuff. So, what do y'all think? Do you like this final look? Do you think it's too much? Do you think it's like amazing let me know it's taking some getting used to but I actually like it. it's just probably wouldn't wear this out but I appreciate the look you know what I mean so this is it if you guys have any looks that you want me to do leave them in the comments below I'm having fun challenging myself to do things I don't normally do so about to take some new pictures um get some new headshots with this dramatic makeup and I'll see you guys next time ciao bellas